There have been some major changes done to the Google Merchant Center recently and they have completely revamped the way the Google Merchant Center looks and even perform. In fact, I would say this is one of their most insane updates as of yet. They have given this new Google Merchant Center the name Google Merchant Center Next. In this video, I want to cover what this Google Merchant Center Next update is all about and how it affects your e-commerce brand directly. So this is one video you're going to want to watch until the end. But without that, this is exactly how the Google Merchant Center Next looks. Now, keep in mind, this is still a fairly new update hence if you don't see this right now for your own e-commerce brand don't panic this is something that they're rolling out slowly and steadily over the next few days weeks and even months but as you see right here it is going to be called google merchant center next and there's a lot of different changes that have been done with the overall look and the overall feel of the google merchant center first things first if we look at the dashboard and compare it side by side to another account which is basically still the old account we can see the there have been quite a few changes made now if i go ahead and open up another normal google merchant center account we can see this is how it looks exactly there's few sections on the left hand side the overview section like right in the middle is fairly straightforward it tells you exactly what you need to be looking after what you need to be knowing at least that's what it was like before now if we look at this new one first and foremost what the first thing i noticed was on the left there's a few more sections which are now here which weren't normally here with the old google merchant center if we look at some of the things there's things such as shipping and returns on the left business info organic ad campaigns and the rest were always there but also on the overview page we can see now there's a few extra things added here such as your business it tells you whether there are certain things missing regarding your business there's a notification section product section performance and then at the top there's like this little overview of what needs to be done to fully have your brand established on google whereas here while there was things like top opportunities your performance free listing shopping ads all of these charts and all of these graphs have seemingly gone away with this new google merchant center next update and what this tells me is google merchant center itself has transitioned more into a foundational approach and what i mean by that is previously we had the opportunity to look at all of these charts we had the opportunity to see just how our ads were performing whereas now it's more about getting your foundation correct it's more about having the right information it's more about making sure your business information is fully up to date with the merchant center so it's more of the foundational side of things which google merchant center next focuses on but now if we look through some of the left hand sections we can see exactly how things have changed so first things first if i add a product there's the all product section pretty straightforward needs attention so now there's a separate section where it will tell you all of the products which need your attention whereas with the old google merchant center you had to kind of just figure that out by looking at this chart you have to click on feed issues account issues etc where now it's going to be a little bit more direct it's going to be all inside one section and there may be more information related to policy violations exactly what's happening and it also gives you the option to look at the history of how many kind of violations or how many product disapprovals your brand faced in the past as well which i thought was very unique because now just what you do at the moment is not only the thing that google will look at it will also look at your past history to see if you have been a good advertiser overall or if you have a history of being bad but looking at things like sales tax automatic improvements pretty straightforward then now if we look at shipping and return but before that if you look right here there's a section that says automatic image improvement so now what google has done is it has started to incorporate a little bit of artificial intelligence into the back end to ensure your brand follows directions and what it says right here is google can remove promotional overlays that would otherwise stop products from being shown now if we go on over to the shipping and return section there's only two sections here shipping info and return policies that lets you know that because there is a whole section on the left hand side for shipping and returns just how valuable this section is now in google merchant center's eyes and exactly how much value you should be putting into this section as well but then there's the business info section where you can add a different countries you can also do something very unique where you can actually opt in for something called the checkout program where within free listings because this is what it talks about you can directly have users go onto your checkout page without having to go onto your landing page 
without having to click the add to cart button all of that stuff which i thought was very unique again google here is trying to reduce the amount of bounce rate that happens with majority of the e-commerce brands on the left hand side within marketing there's the organic section where now it's going to be talking about organic traffic how your products are shown organically where they're shown etc and then there's of course the ad campaign section which isn't really specifically needed if you use the google ads dashboard and then finally there's a performance section which has the same things as it always had before there's also the shopping experience scorecard program which is essentially now the top quality store badge program but that is essentially here within this main dashboard if we now go on over to settings there's a fewer options here compared to what was available in the older google merchant center like for example if we see here there were all these different options you could choose from but now within this new google merchant center next there's things like data sources where you can actually add data sources and give data and all these other kind of things inputs for google ads to perform well for the google merchant center to perform well but in addition there's things like apps add-on general account options conversion settings so on and so forth so there's something now called auto tagging which is going to help take your conversion tracking to the next level make sure it's properly set up and it's running as it should that's essentially pretty much it to the google merchant center next my overall thoughts on this is google has taken a step towards making everything very simple it's trying to make it easy for you as an e commerce brand to do the main things that you're best at doing which is providing good service providing good product forget about the other additional things which are not relevant to providing your customers a good experience or a good product by the way if you're doing forty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen but like and subscribe to my youtube channel here if you found any type of value in this video and check out this video right here on my newest performance max campaign strategies which you can use with this google merchant center next update to explode your brand